With that, we've earned ourselves another heart container, which brings us to the awkward second row of number 11. So we're gonna have to fix that, I reckon. But for now, it's time to leave this dark, wet place with the awesome music, God. And collect our next instrument, which is none other than the harp of a hero. Florence, got your instrument. The bay, you say? Well, before we head off over there, um, there is so much more that we can do now that we can swim. Shocker, am I right? One of the first things you definitely want to do, and I highly recommend it, is get yourself some music. And actually, hmm, I'm trying to think on on terms of uh, on terms of pieces of heart here, and. Uh, also, various other things like thumbnails on whether or not I want to just show all of this unique stuff in one video and not have thumbnails for any others. But there's so many things to do out in the world, I'm probably going to need to refer to some of my notes to be able to uh, collect everything we need to. Because before we head to the next uh, to the next dungeon, I would like to have the level 2 sword. Which in this game is actually called the Colin sword. And I think it's pretty cool. And um, I'd like to have it. Now, if we keep heading off over in this direction, I don't know that there is actually anything here for us. No? Nothing? Blocked at every turn. Yeah, hmm. And just based off of the recording, we've only been going for about 30 minutes or so, so I'm not too worried. Or he is scratching the post, man. He's, he's getting his jollies, his kicks. He's sharpening his already sharp as hell claws. And you know what? We'll go for it right now. Um, I don't know why I walked away from it so soon, but... That's okay. I just wanted to be able to get some swims in there. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves the anglerfish's brother. How's it going? I am Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? No. Very well. Club bloop bloop. Aw, rude. Well, what if I say I do? And then I actually do. Aha, then I can teach you my song. Bloop. Oh wait, I'm underwater. Strike a pose as Link, yet again in the water, has learned Mambo's Mambo. When you get out of the water, play it. You know, I don't think I will. You can warp to a warp point around the island. This is our song of soaring, and I love it. If you play it in a dungeon, which it doesn't tell you in the original, uh, it will return you to the beginning, and that is very useful. So thanks for giving it to us at the end of the fourth dungeon halfway through. But since today is a special day, I'll let you whoop to Mambo's Pond too. Cha-cha-cha. Cha-cha-cha indeed. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out as soon as we can. Although from here, there are things we can grab, and I think we will. Especially with our brand new uh, seashell detecting uh, thing. It would be nice to have. Uh, we can't do anything on this side, can we? Oh, this is the uh, waterfall. So there's nothing over here then. Is he going to try to get me from right there? You're a dummy. Do you realize that, Mr. Mr. Borblin? You're all dumb. So, if we drop down this waterfall, is it this one? Yes. We can go and grab another seashell while having water rushing down our face. If you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. Thanks, dude. I appreciate it. 
Um, okay, and here we have... Oh, a ghost. Oh, we're being haunted. We shouldn't have robbed this place. This castle is bad news, man. And unfortunately, as much as I hate to admit it, we do need to head over here, sadly. Because there is a piece of art, of course. Lovely. All right. So this guy's just going to be staring at me, not even minding his own business. And we can't head over here quite yet. It looks like we need to be able to leap at least six spaces, or five, I guess, if you're wanting to jump into the staircase, which is always a bad idea. But no, as you could imagine, a staple of the Zelda series is in this game, and uh, that will kind of top us off as far as uh, exploration goes. And the bay? God, everyone is talking about the bay. What is so good about it? I mean, she's sleeping in the other room right now, and it's probably going to wake up before this recording session is over, so... I don't know what to tell you, man, but damn. We're going to get real wet over here real quick. And, oh, this thing. Oh, I hate that. I'm so bad at it. I'm just going to warn you guys right now. Just be wary. I am the worst in Ori is doing something, but we're going to have to head all the way down here, right? Am I in the right direction? Or did we not have to do this part? Also, Zora's spawning. Huh. Oh, boy. I'm just going to go ahead and avoid you. Huh. All right. Well, there's a lot of things we can do here. And fine. I'll take you at the bay. It actually would be a good idea to do that. And we're heading there right now. And <gasps> a mermaid. How do you do, madam? When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I will let you take a scale from my tail. Can I just take it right now? No scales before I have my necklace. Oh. I'm a dick, I know. Look at she's all embarrassed. Am I the asshole in this situation? <laughs> okay, so this is where we found uh, the thing, right? We found a thing there. Can you not get in my way? Oof. Okay, that Zora, man. So I thought there was a, oh, here we go. A seashell on the other side of the colant. There's a fisherman here. Oh, that's right. The improvement to the fisherman game is here. Hey, uh, oh, apparently I can't do that. I'm not a mermaid. I am mer child. Can I jump up over here? Why can't I? There we go. It's no use, little buddy. Fish took my hook. Keep casting my line into the water, but I haven't gotten bite. Others uh, there's what happened. Why do you only bring one hook? Are you some kind of dummy or something? Don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Look at my physics. Ori is apparently in a fight with the curtains. I gotta hate those plastic curtains so much. It's like the worst thing about this apartment. Is we have like a big ass uh, glass sliding door that goes to the balcony, right? And then we have those long white plastic uh, curtains that are all vertical and they're just the worst sounding of all time and Aureus currently you know negotiating the terms of his WWE profile with them but here we have yet another piece of heart and that rounds us up to 12 much more satisfying than before Whew, thank god for that now uh this is actually going to be our uh next dungeon and i would like to go do other things that pertain to collecting seashells because having additional strength uh, would be very good for us but because we were able to get lots of stuff okay okay fine you know what i'm gonna stop what i'm doing right now i'm gonna take your crying ass home you're dead what what worldly possessions could you possibly have Enter my house. Very well. I probably shouldn't be so rude to the dead, but why is why does he want to come here? I guess this is a nice moment and all, but man. You just kinda came out of nowhere.
That's so sad. What happened? Who hurt you? Here, you know what? Before we leave, let's do one final good thing. Okay, even if it means getting hurt. And he followed me. I don't think that really accomplishes much, but... You know, the sentiment is there. In the original game, you actually had to wait until after you brought him back here to get the secret seashell. And uh, in this one, they changed it, so obviously it's a little bit easier and you don't have to, you know, think that there's nothing there. But with that being said and done, um, you know, we've yet to play uh, Mambo's song. And main reason for that being is that there's still things to collect around here. But, oh boy, oh boy, this guy's gonna be trouble, isn't he? All right, excuse me, sir, I'm just gonna go ahead and violate your personal space. So I can go over here, grab that, and now life is good. All right, so that should be 32, I think. Something along those lines. No, why, why did he come back up? There we go. Man, this game is really good at just dropping inputs. Okay, so let's do this again. Leap and slash, and don't follow me. Quit making fun of me, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have this ghost wherever we go, and I'm not entirely sure, actually, if we get other cutscenes. So maybe we should go back to Mabe Village real quick and see what we can do with this ghost still hanging out. Get out of here, piranhas. Yeah. How do you like being sliced in the face? You know what I like. It's one of these. You got a piece of heart. Man, good thing I constantly am getting my ass kicked. Otherwise, I'd be getting all of these free health restores for nothing. You know, making good use of these well-placed heart pieces. Oof. Buzzy blob. Don't like the buzzy blob. Now, oh yes, yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. So this is the one, okay, so uh, there was this upgraded guy. I forgot his name, it started with an S or something. It's not death, he's a weirdo. This guy, the little devil. Hey kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. This is the one that I thought was in the mysterious forest, so that's why I was wondering, but yeah, you can get that a lot earlier. Now, uh, as we mentioned before, this man will allow you to upgrade either your magic powder capacity, your mom capacity, or your arrow capacity. And, well, considering we're going to start using that bad boy real quick here, um, look at all that junk you have to carry. Um, life is good. I like having 60 arrows and not having to worry about them for the rest of the game, although I probably will have to because I'm a real bad shot and it's just really awkward doing that stuff. But, with the mambo, we can teleport wherever the hell we want. We can also spit out water bubbles. <laughs> and yeah, let's go ahead down over here. This is a good idea because although I kind of want to head back to the key cavern to where that was, let's go, let's go see what's new in town first because I'm sure there's probably something, right? It's probably something. And we can go fishing, too. Oof. I'm excited about that. Uh, let's go down here. And apparently bonk into a bush. So that sword was not centered enough. Lovely. All right. So, heading inside the trendy game. Ah, we got a cheap cheap and a seashell. Do I dare? Do I dare? And the ghost is nowhere to be found. All right. Um... Yeah, let's go for the cheap cheap first, just so I don't have to look horrible. And I hope you guys don't mind me playing this because, like I mentioned the last time we were here, this is one of my favorite mini games of just like all mini games. They're so much fun. In real life, I am actually really good at crane games, like suspiciously good at them. And it's like such a weird skill that I picked up because those are notoriously rigged against the user. So you sink in like $5 and you get no candy. Which is something I will never do. I will never just, like, go and uh, play a crane game that gives you candy. Because God knows how long that's been up there, you know? So that's going to go right there. Which means... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yes. But the weird timing with this one... Uh, yeah! Oh, how you like me now. Oh, no! No! <laughs> oh, man. You know, I just had to have too much confidence. I had to be so cocky. It's the hubris of it all, my man. No, oh, I'd let go of the button because I'm. I was talking up that shitstorm. Oh, what? 
<laughs> okay. Can I just reach over and grab it, please? Please? Okay, I need to stop screwing around. It's the real deal. Good God. Now this, you just have to tap. There you go. Yeah, this this uh, Joy-Con configuration that I have, I bought... What? Uh, it, it hasn't been serving me very well. And if you guys watched my Katamari series, then you'll know that I am... It just, like, would disconnect at times, and it's just, overall, just it doesn't read very well. But this seashell is being real difficult right now. And I think it's just the... Look, it's going to fall back towards us. Look at this. Oh! You son of a bitch. Good God, this guy is robbing me.